It was a time after Woodstock and before disco. Mr. Hare was born to a pair of hippie parents. Don't say that, man. Okay, fair enough. How about Mr. Hare was born in San Diego, the son of two former hippies. And he has the pictures to prove it. He was a big baby, which you'd never guess since he's a big guy now. Biggest baby in the nursery. Growing up, Mr. Herrer loved writing, as evidenced by these letters from camp, where he describes in detail all the Duran Duran songs he and his fellow campers sang every night. By high school, he had become a very strong writer and got the chance to write a column for the local paper in Ontario, California. Not long after graduation, Mr. Harrer began working for the Press Enterprise newspaper in Riverside. He started out doing the weather page, writing obituaries, and taking phone calls from the public about stuff like UFO sightings, but moved to the sports department after a couple of years. He wrote about basically every sport in the world, including the world's strongest dwarf. He spent his college summers driving around America, either alone or with friends. Eventually, it was time to graduate from college with his degree in English literature. Mr. Herrer started getting to cover baseball sometimes for the newspaper in the year 2000, but could never nail down a full-time job as a baseball writer, so he made plans to leave America for Japan to be an English conversation teacher. Mr. Herrer spent the better part of the decade after returning from Japan traveling around the world. He was often the focal point of attention because he was bigger and taller than most anyone else in the countries he visited. these international adventures were way more exciting than Mr. Harris' day job as a worker drone for the County Riverside Human Resources Department. He'd wanted to start teaching high school immediately upon returning from Japan, but it hadn't worked out that way. Instead, he spent a couple mind-numbing, spirit-crushing years pushing a pencil around a cubicle while working on his credential at night. Harris put in his time with the county, however, and got that teaching credential. He was hired to start teaching at Valley View High School for the 2006-2007 school year, meaning this is Mr. Harris' 15th year at Valley View. In 2012, Mr. Harris met the love of his life, Marlene. They were engaged within six months of meeting and married a year later. Now Mr. Hare had someone to go on his worldwide journeys with. A 
Of all the many places they've traveled together, Mr. Hera's favorite was taking Marlene back to Iwakuni, the town where he was an English teacher once upon a time many years before. Mr. and Mrs. Hare expanded their family in 2018 with the adoption of Olivia. Dad, tell the story right. This is me. This is what I look like. Mr. and Mrs. Hare are now a happy family. They plan on going on many great international adventures once the coronavirus ends. In the meantime, they're having lots of fun at their house in Riverside. Well, Olivia's probably not having so much fun because with two teachers as parents, she's always having to learn something. So that's the story of Mr. Herrer, your teacher for this year. One of these days, hopefully he'll get to meet you in person. <laughs>